Whether it's for a daily meal with your family or a fancy feast with guests, fish and seafood are delicious and healthy choices. From selecting to preparation, I've got a few tips to help you make the perfect fish or seafood meal every time. Many people prefer to purchase frozen fish because it's easy to handle and accessible the whole year round. When you're in your frozen fish aisle, make sure the packaging is perfectly sealed and avoid frozen fish where many ice crystals have formed. I like to thaw my fish overnight in the refrigerator to preserve its moisture and tenderness. I prefer fresh over frozen. You want to make sure that your fresh fish is indeed the catch of the day. Look at the scales. The scales should be shiny. As well, look at the color of the flesh. It should be bright. Here we have haddock. And the texture should be firm and spring back when touched. Look for an even tone because fish with any dark or dry spots should be avoided. Furthermore, a fishy smell indicates that the fish is not fresh. We're going to cook with shrimp later on, so let's look for shrimp that has a tight shell, a shiny wet appearance, and a firm flesh without any discoloration. You may have heard of 1620, 2125, and 2630. These are how many shrimp pieces per pound, so you may want to think about the final dish and the number of people before you buy. Salt, pepper, garlic, dill, and a little lemon juice often do the trick. However, if you want to try some other seasonings, there's a range of products specifically developed for fish like Old Bay, Clubhouse Seasoning Blends, and La Grill. For example, Old Bay is great for crabs and shrimp, and La Grill Salmon Seasoning gives you the flavor of cedar plank without the mess of using plank or the bad feeling that comes with throwing out a plank into the garbage after use. Clubhouse Lemon Herb Blend is another great choice for salmon. Simply towel dry the salmon and we're going to apply some seasoning to the salmon. Add a little oil to the pan that has been heated. To preserve the taste and moisture, only turn the fish over once. A good rule of thumb is approximately 10 minutes of cooking per inch of thickness. Cooked fish is opaque and firm to the touch. For a bold pop of flavor, a marinade like ginger teriyaki seafood marinade is a good idea. I'll pour one quarter to a half a cup of marinade on one pound of shrimp. I'll place the shrimp in the oven that has been preheated to 425 degrees for 8 to 10 minutes. Cooking fish and seafood with a batter mix is a fun way to change things up once in a while. Here I have Clubhouse Fish and Chip Batter Mix. With all the spices conveniently incorporated in the mix, all you have to do is add two-thirds of a cup of water to one cup of batter mix. Stir until smooth. Coat your haddock and heat in oil in a large skillet. Cook the fish for three to five minutes until golden brown. Flip and do the same on the other side. Don't forget to provide a good dipping sauce as an additional source of flavor, like tartar sauce, which also comes in a fat-free variety. We have our marinated shrimp here, but for plain shrimp, an original cocktail sauce or extra hot cocktail sauce can do the trick. Remember, don't double dip. Whether seasoned, marinated, or battered, cooking with fish and seafood offers multitudes of meal options that are simple, nutritious, and delicious.